Today on Learn TV, we're going to be looking at how you can get the most out of the lenses that you've got for your interchangeable lens camera. Hi, I'm Tuki. And I'm Tim. And today on Learn TV, we're going to be looking at what full frame sensors mean for your existing lens collection. Cool. So what we have here is a full frame camera uh, with a 35 mm lens. So now just you know one step back, what is you know 35 mm? Uh, most people's field of view is around 50 mm. Okay, right. so, so 50 mm. Sort of view, That's the normal view. Not the peripheral. No, right? not peripheral. So pretty much you know 50 mm. So if you buy a 50 mm lens, it will be pretty much what you actually see. Yeah. 35 mm is actually a bit wider. So you know it's like if you took a step back and yeah. a, you know zoomed out. So zoom out, right? Yeah, yeah a, a zoomed out version. So what we have here is this little family here uh, with the actual camera. So as you can see, with the 35 mm uh, lens. Uh, you know, nice wide field of view. You can see like the skateboard all the way till the edge, and also like uh, the the daddy and the family here. Uh, you can see it in, in the whole frame. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this piece of paper right here, and I'm gonna draw. So in red is what the actual field of view is. So as I was saying, you could see all the way to the side of that person. So I'm gonna go there, and the actual skateboard. So it was roughly around. Thanks for that around there. Okay, so that's the field of view of a, of a 35 mm lens on a full frame sensor. Okay. So what I want to do next is actually, you know, keeping the same lens, so I'm going to pull out this lens right here, that's that 35 mm lens, nice and big full frame uh, sensor uh, compared to an APS-C, uh, which is an NX6 right here. Yep. So we're going to use the same lens on the NX6 just to show you what actually happens okay. uh, with the, the field of view. Thank you very much, Tim. Okay, so what we have here, as we've just demonstrated, is now we're on the NEX6. Um, and if we have a look what it actually looks like, uh, as you can see, it's a bit Straight cropped. Up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, cropped it a bit. Oh, it's trying to focus in the background. But if we have a look at the, the field of view for that, um, you know, like we can't really see the skateboard anymore on that side and also, you know, like the, the arm of the, the dead is a bit cropped and of course it crops the top and bottom as well. Okay, so if we go back to uh, drawing what it actually looks like, so as I said, you know, roughly it will you know, cut from here to there and that skateboard is no longer in the actual shot. So if I crop around there, okay, so it's the same lens, 35mm lens, but because the sensor is smaller, it actually gives you a crop. Right. Mm. So, so this lens is, um, or well, this this process known as uh, field of viewing, field of view cropping. Yep. Um, when you're comparing a full frame camera to an APS-C size camera, yep. uh, what we have is a 1.5 times field of view crop. Okay. Yep. So that's what we we call it in the trade. That essentially means that if you put something like a 50 millimeter lens on this camera, yep. it's going to that focal length is going to be multiplied by 1.5 1 1 times, yep. right? So it's going to be 75 millimeters so instead of 50 millimeters. More, yeah, it gets yeah, more so now. Just basically zooming in. Now there is a reason um, why that happens, and I can briefly show you cool. how that works. So if you just excuse my um, my drawing <laughs> for a moment, I'm just going to trace around this camera. Yep. All right. Just to show you what it works, all right. So there is our camera. This here in the front is the lens. Now, what we have, if this camera was a, uh, a full frame camera, we would have a sensor that's about that big in there, okay? And the light coming in to the lens is going to come in sort of out from those angles, as Tuki showed you, and then it's going to cross over and focus in that middle point and go right to the edges of the sensor, okay? Yep. So that would be full frame. Now, if instead of having a full frame sensor in there, we had an APS-C sensor, which is a bit smaller, what's going to happen is if we start out here and we go to that same focal point and draw out from there, you'll see we end up with this crop simply by nature of having that smaller sensor there. Okay, so we get that, that narrower field of view. So this all makes sense, obviously, when we're talking about it uh, in terms of full frame sensors and full frame lenses. But what happens when you've got an APS-C lens, like you get with, uh, you know, sort of the kit lenses that came with any of these for years, <laughs> yep. all right? Um, what, what happens when you're using that on, say, a full frame camera? Exactly. So th this lens right here is an NEX, uh, you know, APS-C size uh, kit lens. Actually, what happens, Tim, 
Um, if we have a quick look at that view again, um, because it has been designed for APS-C, which is that, that area uh, in blue here, actually all of this part, uh, the lens hasn't been built or manufactured to actually you know, take care of that. Okay? So what the lens does, it only focus on that really short uh, you know, and narrower um, a field of view, which is what you get with APS-C. Right. Around. So actually, can you show us, Tim, what actually happens if I have an APS-C size lens yep. on a full frame body? Okay, so if I just grab this and put it on here. Yep. So straight away, you can see <laughs> that uh, we've got some pretty serious black borders all the way around on yep. both sides. Okay, so we're actually looking at the inside of the lens there. Yep. Which uh, in itself is kind of an interesting effect, <laughs> but uh, but may not be necessarily what you're going for specifically. Um, so that uh, that effect is uh, you know it's a problem whenever you put an APS-C designed lens yep. on a full frame sensor because of this area here which is being ignored. Yep. So there is a way around it. Perfect. If you go into the menu, you'll find APS-C size capture and we can turn it on. Now this particular camera, or in fact, we can turn it on auto because this is a, uh, a Sony lens, so it will automatically pick it up. Wow, okay. So, so, so straight away, this particular camera um, has got the ability to recognize that this is an APS-C um, designed lens. Um, and so therefore it can crop in. This camera is 36 megapixels at using the full frame sensor. So in order to, because it's cropping into the sensor, it's going to offer a lower resolution. In this case, around about 15 megapixels. Yep. But it still means that you can use your old lenses on there. Which is so really it cool. basically, or the, the camera auto-corrects, it, it basically crops into the image to get rid of that black border. Yep. It auto-corrects for you. So yep. why would you want to have this option you know, to turn on and off? Don't, right. don't you want it on the whole time? Yeah, well, you would think that. But the advantage that we have with our mirrorless cameras is that they have the ability to not just work with these Sony lenses, but with a wide range of other lenses, oh, of course. provided you've got the right adapter, That's okay, which we've, we've talked about previously. So that means that I can grab this old, sort of vintage Zeiss lens here, and I can put it on. Yep. Um, and I'll just see if I can put it into focus a little bit for you. So yep. I can use this um, this very nice lens, and I can actually use it, if I turn this to off, um, I can use it with the full width of the lens as well. Oh, okay. Um, so, so that means I can make the most of these lenses. Yeah, because um, those frames were like were designed for full frame. They were designed for so film, yeah. So, um, so absolutely. I've got the ability to use the old film lenses, and as you can see, oh, this is a, a particularly nice lens with a nice sort of blurred bokeh in the yep. background, nice blurred background. So, um, it gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of creativity in terms of what you can achieve by um, by simply you know changing that setting, which is really cool. It's, yeah. So I guess the the key point is that you can continue to use your old lenses. You can continue to use your very old lenses if you want to, <laughs> um, all with full frame, and uh, and you've got the ability to change those settings or let the camera automatically detect those um, those setups for you. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.